Matt from Evolution Fitness Systems with an at-home workout. These exercises I'm going to show you are to help you with improvement in your calisthenic skills in the four main disciplines. So first one, front lever. So these are basic exercises you can do to help you with the front lever. So front lever, tuck front lever. There you are hanging from the bar. So what we're going to do from there, maintaining that position, we're just going to straighten our legs. So hands to your chest. So pretending you're hanging from a bar, we've got straight leg extension. So basically bicycles, and we're just going to do these for five each side, maintaining, pushing your back into the floor and maintaining that straight back, which you want for the front lever. Next exercise, extend those legs out, push your back into the floor and you've got hollow body rocks. So a little bit harder if you extend your arms backwards. So there we are, hollow body rocks and you're pushing your back into the floor all the time that's strengthening up your core and finally once you've done 10 to 15 of those we've got a static hollow body hold position there and that's just working on your, your static hold working on strengthening your core and it's very hard to do this one talking so there we go so that's three exercises you can do to help you with the front lever Next calisthenic skill is the human flag. So basically on the floor, that is basically your human flag. So what we've got there, we've got static side arm holes, that side, side plank there. What we can do there, 10 second hold on each side. And then once we move on from there, we can go on to 10 dips. So 10 second hold and then progression in to 10 dips on each side and that is just working on again core strength and strengthening up your side plank which you need to hold for the human flag so i think that's 10 do one more and then swap to the other side so static hold feet stacked on top of each other or to the side whichever's best for stability arm straight down straight down over your shoulders, arm up for a static hold and then we're going to drop down and do 10 hip ups. Now you can also do these, we'll do this side on your elbows if that's a little bit easier. So there we go. And just hips to the floor, back if you come slightly up high that doesn't matter. Two more. There we go. Now I'll swing to the other side. And this time we'll do an elbow. And what we're going to do here, arm up, and we're going to raise into star for five seconds. So that's just, again, static hold. And then what we've got, five pulses up. And that's five, hold again, and then drop down. So, back onto this side. Feet stacked on top of each other, Ooh, don't lose balance. And then we've got a static hold for five seconds, and then five, five pulses. Hold again and drop before I lose balance. So that is three little, two or three little exercises for the human flag there. Just let me get a breath back now, planche, one of the hardest ones. So we've got forward lean, so planche is basically that position, you've got your hands further forward, and with both legs, I can't do it, with both legs raised, you've got your hands, both legs off the floor, and you're holding that position. So that is a tough one to do. So we've got forward leans, varying your hand position. So some people do the foot the planche with fin fingers facing forwards I find that very difficult so onto your tiptoes plank position and then just push forward so you're getting your shoulders leaning over your hands so that is quite hard there again posterior pelvic tilt in the plank in the plank 
five second hold drop down now turn your hands out at five to one position on the clock so you just turn them out so five to one position take up this plank position raise push your shoulders back on so you're retracting your shoulders or you're pushing them forward sorry you're actually pushing your shoulders forward five to one position shoulders up so you're pushing your shoulders away from your body away from the floor and then just lean forwards we've got a five second hold there so you want your tiptoes there drop back and now 10 to 2 lean forward so you're continuously working on moving your arms round your hands round and feeling what is the best position for you so five to three shoulders raised up and lean forwards five second hold now again bring your hands backwards so that is now back at that position now lean forward again much much harder this one and then some people can do it really far back like that i find it very hard but some people can do it there so and that is much 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 difficult again five second hold and pull back and the key to that is to get your arms pushed forward so you are protecting your shoulders forward and you're keeping that rounded back so forward leans now again but this time a little bit more so choose your correct hand position so mine's slightly out to the side sort of like quarter to three between quarter to three and ten to two and then what we're going to do forward leans so push your shoulders up straight back possibly be able to lean forward and we're going to do raise one leg so five second hold on this side and that's putting much more stress on your shoulders drop back posterior pelvic tilt raise your left leg and push and lean forward and there we go so again you're putting more emphasis on the front part of those shoulders now the last one downward facing dog into a chaturanga push-up so a chaturanga push-up there's push-up position this time you're going forward to right angle so that your, your your elbows are at right angles to the floor so that is chaturanga so get yourself ready so downward facing dog first up push back and then this is come over your hands and then just drop down hold and push and push back up so that is downward facing dog take one full breath there lean forward over your hands drop down to chaturanga push up and back we do five of these full deep breath there get your breath back reach over push up and back two more bend your knees if you want just to stretch out so you lean over your shoulders plank position there plant position i should say drop down back up and we're going to go into the last one there we go lean over push your position back up and then back into downward facing dog so that is three exercises just stretch out your wrist there a few circles and that's three exercises they're routines to work on your planche for getting the shoulder strength built up and the straight arm strength so last discipline the muscle up very hard to do at home so you need the explosive push up onto the bar and then you bring yourself up and over the bar and then it's a straight tricep dip. so that position there is once you get over the bar it's all about the push okay so that particular exercise is working on your triceps so we've got four exercises looking at working strengthening up your triceps first one it's called the rising swan and it's a pilates workout so face down on your mat you're putting your hands just slightly forward of your, of your head and then we're just going to push straight up 
into straight arms. So that's working on your triceps, a beginner's exercise for working on your triceps. So straight forward push up. We'll do five of these. There we go. And two more up and just hold there. And the last one we're going to hold, we'll hold that for five seconds. So there we go, beginner's exercise for the muscle up, working on your triceps. Next one, dolphin pose, a little bit harder. So on your knees, you can start, beginner's pose, you can start in box position. So this is a yoga pose called a dolphin. And what you're doing there, you're bringing the flat of your, your bottom of your, your arm, your wrist up to your elbow, down to the floor. And then push up there, do five of these. Now don't sit back on your sitting bones, that's not it. You need to keep the weight stacked over your upper body so you put the resistance down on your triceps. Do two more of these. And again, try and twist your wrists in so that your middle part of your elbow is facing forwards. So you're twisting your elbows in and then down and back up. Last one. Now much, much, much harder, downward facing dog into that position. So back in the downward facing dog and then we're gonna drop straight down into dolphin from there. So downward facing dog, down. And that is much, much, much harder. Ooh, especially when you've got a slight elbow injury. So that is dolphin, that is downward facing dog into dolphin. Now the next exercise, I call it a calisthenic push-up. It's working on the same principle. So from dolphin position, so sit yourself back on your heels. So box position, sit back, drop your arms down and push further forward. So come back into um, box, sit back on your heels, Dolphin position, now push further forward, now come back. So you're pushing up and you're pushing back. So up into Chaturanga and back into, so like a child's pose, dolphin, push forward, up and push back. Another one and back and into there and back. And the harder version is in the plank position so same again, come back into there and push up, push up. And so it's a bit more elongated, a bit more in the push up position. So back, arms down, one more, down and push up. And what that's working on is basically mimicking as you get up to there, You've got to push up, so you're coming up, straight up, onto the bar, down, and pulling your body up. So it's that pulling your motion over the body and pushing yourself up. So that calisthenic push up is working, mimicking that motion where you've got to push yourself up. So, last exercise. When you get up, I'm out of breath here a little bit. When you get over the bar, your, your fists, your back of your hands are facing forwards. So you've got to push up from there upwards. So what we're going to do now is do some forward facing push-ups, but without your hands on the floor, without your wrists on your floor, you're going to turn your wrists inwards to mimic, to mimic that position where you're over the bar and you're going to do a straight bar dip. So there we go. So fists on the floor, knee position for beginners, and you're coming straight down and straight up. So do five of those. Arms going out to the side, like you would do in a muscle-up. And then to finish off, we've got five, first standard push-up. One. Five, there we go. So, four little exercises, from beginner to advanced, from that position where you, you push yourself up onto the bar, your chest has come over, and you've got to push yourself back. So then four exercises, I've just showed you, working on wrist strength, elbow strength, shoulder strength, and push-up strength for straight arm strength. 
in the muscle up. So I hope those four exercise routines help you with those four disciplines. Thanks for watching. I'm out of breath and I'll see you in the next video.